This isn't Australia, the Caribbean or the Med. These blue sharks were spotted only weeks ago off the coast of Cornwall. So they're not cute or cuddly, but conservationists say they need our help. Ali Hood works for the Shark Trust, campaigning for stricter catch limits to protect the many species you can find right here in British waters. We do have a quite dire scenario for sharks, not only in UK waters, but in European waters and those of the Mediterranean. So we have the worst status, according to the IUCN Red List, of anywhere in the world. We still have these species open to unchecked take, um, unrestricted trade, and we need to see science-based catch limits brought in for those species. More than 30 species of shark can be found off Britain's coastline, but over 50% are at risk due to overfishing and damage to their natural habitats. Basking sharks are fully protected, and recently catch limits were introduced for spiny dogfish and poor beagle. But there are no limits for blue sharks, shortfin mako shark, smooth hounds or cat sharks. On a trip out to the Manacles Reef near Falmouth, we saw the fin of a sunfish, seals, but sadly no sharks. They are out there somewhere. This basking shark was filmed from the boat in June. Sharks play a vital part within the food chain. They are the apex predator, those with teeth. Obviously basking sharks, they're plankton feeders, but the toothy sharks uh, have a very important role they're essentially the dustbin men of the sea and they keep things under control. This year there has been success. The ban on finning in EU waters has been tightened up where shark fins were sliced off and the body thrown overboard. The Shark Trust has also praised UK fisheries for getting on board with their work but say too many sharks continue to be caught up in fishing nets by the European fleets and not returned to the sea. <laughs> Years of bad press and a certain film haven't helped, but more focus is essential if these misunderstood creatures are to stay safe in our waters. Rhiannon Mills, Sky News in Cornwall.